Hello everyone and welcome back. Actually this time this is a new lesson, a new series of lessons about pronunciation. Um, I discussed that in one of my viewer uh, videos and what I will have here is I will split the alphabets, most of them actually, the ones that people find difficult to pronounce, into families and uh, they're split up uh, according to how you pronounce them and similar ones are in rectangles of the same color so oops sorry so for example these two groups are similar in the way you pronounce them and these two groups have nothing related groups that are in the same rectangle are very similar and I will discuss each rectangle in a lesson. For today's lesson, we're going to take the most um, demanded one. It's this one. It's the ha, 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 ra group. Okay. So let's go. So here. So these are the letters ha, 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 ra. A brief explanation of how you should pronounce it. Ha. This is like the letter H when you say how or here or um, handsome. It's ha, ha, hurricane, ha. So it's, it's, a, it's an H sound. Okay. Ha. This is a troublesome letter. Some people because they cannot pronounce it, they pronounce it as a ha, and some people pronounce it as ha, depending on what languages they speak. For now, I will try to my best to explain it, and it needs a lot of practice because most probably you don't have enough muscles or you're not comfortable in um, pronounce it, pronouncing it correctly. So, how do we pronounce this letter? It's ha. This is Ha, this is ha, ha. What's the difference? The difference is there is a scratching sound coming from the back of the throat. It's as if you're trying to clear your throat. So when you clear your throat, you go ha, ha, you go. <coughs> <coughs> so clearing your throat or coughing produces the sound where you scratch it here I'm trying to exaggerate as much as possible so that you can hear it in the mic <sighs> okay so uh, it leaves actually the throat a bit dry and if you overdo it and that's when you know you did it right so it's ha this one is ha this one is ha okay the next one is actually the, the the last two are very similar to the French R. Okay? But a bit different. So um so what's the difference? First of all, how do you pronounce this? This is ha ha. Okay, this is ha 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 this is the noise that kh makes. It's as if you're trying to, uh, you have an itch in your like top ceiling of your mouth, you know, and you want to itch it, you go <laughs> You know, it's a kh, kh, kh. This is the sound of a kh. So well, this is the best I can do in explaining the sound. The next sound is a bit different, <coughs> very similar, very similar. But a bit different. It's ra, ra, ra. It's much deeper. It doesn't scratch your top, the top of the ceiling anymore. It's go, it goes ra. It's as if you're gargling. If if you put some water in your throat and like try to wash, have some mouthwash or something, you go like ra, ra. So ra. Ra, 
Yeah. So, um, also, what can I say? Um, in Arabic, gargling is غر 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 غر. So you see, it's it uses the غ sound. غ غر غر. This is خ. This is غ. Again, the family is ها ح خ غ. Okay, next. Here, what I'm going to try to do is pair the letters in a similar combinations and read it in this direction to see um, how you pronounce them. And as you can see, I the difference between each column here is that I changed alam tashkil. So um, let's go. I'm gonna read that uh, many times as much as I can through the time period that I have. This is hal. This is hal. 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 Khal. Ghal. Hal. Hal. Khal. Ghal. Okay. The next column is Hud, hu, hud, hu, hud, hu, hud, hu, hud. Okay, hud, 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 hud. Next one. Hin, he, he, hen. He, he, hen. He, he, hen. Ri, ri, rin. Okay, so I hope that wasn't too awkward. Okay, these words might not have a meaning, so um, don't con don't really focus on memorizing them. They're just there as an example of pronunciation. Now, here's some words that have a meaning. This is just examples of words that uses that letter. Maybe it will be good to hear some. Okay, so verse group is Hira Hira Dahab Dahab Dahabun Okay Shifa 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 Hun Okay and the difference I'm just uh, replacing sometimes the uh, Tanween by Sukun if you don't know what's Tanween what's Sukun please go and visit my other videos uh, for now, um, the meanings. This is a cat. Hirra, cat. Dahab means gold. Shifahun means lips. Okay, lips. Next. Hamama. Hamama. Ahmar. Ahmar. Rumhun. Rumh. Rumhun. Okay. خريف خ خريف خريف أخضر 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 مخ مخ meanings حمامة means a pigeon أحمر means red red okay رمح means a spear like the the fighting tool spear خريف means uh, autumn or fall um, أخضر means green, uh, another color. مخ means brain. Okay, next. غدا means tomorrow. غدا. أغنية. أغنية means a song. فارغ. فارغ means empty. Okay, I hope that was clear. If you have any question about pronunciation for these letters please post it here if you want to give it a shot and pronounce it and I'll correct you you can just post the video response it's up to you that's all for today I hope I didn't exceed the time limit and voila that's 10 minutes short see you soon